Hey, I'm Nathan Brandt with Cole Ironworks. Today we're gonna to take a look at installing a foot treadle on this 12 ton. So to get started, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install a new handle. So these handles have a little tab welded onto them to mount our foot pedal too. And that has been found to be the most stable mounting that we can produce. All right, we're gonna thread this into the valve body. I'm gonna orient the little uh, tab down and tighten my nut. That nut's gonna hold everything in place. All right. Next, I've got my little adapter bracket, the included Allen and two screws. We're gonna come in here. Just hand tighten. To start. Just gotta make sure everything's nice and lined up. Tighten my screws down. All right, next I'm gonna take my cable and pop one nut and one washer. Feed that through. We'll put our washer on and the nut on. Now I'm gonna leave this loose. We'll use the throw of this threaded section to make final adjustments a little bit later on in the process. So now up here, I'm gonna install my adapter. I'm gonna thread that all the way on until it stops or bottoms out. So bottomed out. And then I'm gonna tighten my jam nut up into the bottom to hold that in place. I'm gonna grab my adjustable wrench and my provided little Allen. I've got a flathead screw and a lock nut. We're gonna send the flathead screw through the little swivel bearing and through the weld tab on the handle. I'm gonna tighten that nut. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna take my foot pedal, set that on the floor. And once again, I'm gonna take off one nut and one washer. I find it's a little easier to take my thread protector off at this stage then after I got it on and insert that. Then it's washer and nut. And again, I can leave this semi loose to make any final adjustments here in just a minute. Next, I'm gonna grab my swivel tip end and my larger lock nut. When it bottoms out, I'll just loosen it and run my jam nut in place to hold everything nice and secure. Now this end is gonna move, this end's gonna move with the valve. We're just gonna pull it, again, kinda loosen my mounting there. I'm gonna insert that and install our lock nut. Now, I don't need to lock this end really in place in, in this axis. I just wanna get to the locking nylon on the nut, just to kind of hold that in position and make sure that it stays where we put it. Now, I'm gonna go up and tighten my nuts here. I'm just gonna use a larger Adjustable wrench. And tighten that down. That's gonna help lock that cable in in place. Awesome. Make sure everything's moving freely. 
Now, for my adjustment up top, I want this to land so that my toe is ever so slightly up, the heel is so slightly down, and that is, seems to be a really comfortable pr position for actuation with your foot. Now moving back up to the press, I'm just gonna, this slot is for alignment here. I'm gonna align it. I like the position of the foot pedal where it's at, so I'm not gonna make any significant adjustments just yet. I'm just gonna lock these into place. Again, I'll just use my adjustable. Now, we'll take our foot pedal and adjust it. So the reason this cable is as long as it is, is to allow you to move your foot pedal away from your work, like so. So if I'm forging a long bar, I can be out here and still actuating my press. I can move up and actuate my press from there. So that just gives me more flexibility around the machine as well as around the mounting of the machine. We have this set up on the table. We removed this mount bracket for the valve and moved it up to the top of our little cart here. Um, and that, that gives us more flexibility for, for mounting everywhere. Um, but this allows you better versatility around the press. So now that I've got this hooked up, we'll go ahead, fire the press up and test it and make sure that I'm getting enough stroke here to fully actuate my valve. All right, let's turn the press on. Now, if this was adjusted improperly, when I would go to actuate up or down, it wouldn't get full extension on your valve, and it would look like that. It would look much slower in one direction, and then really fast in the other. That's how you can diagnose if you're not adjusted properly. But this looks fantastic. I'm getting full actuation in both directions. One other thing that I really like about a foot pedal is the control that it gives you with these manual valves. So look here. I can bring my dies together really slowly if I'm lining something up because I've got better fine adjustment control on my valve with my foot. So thank you so much for checking out our foot pedal installation guide. If you have any questions, email service at coalirn.com. Thank you very much.